this is exactly what my slide is showing right now. This is how we'll feel when you'll enter into the first day. You will have no idea what is going on. Patients are there, they're, they're complaining, the relatives are complaining, they're having so many problems. Somebody is vomiting out there, somebody is shouting, they want to go home. And you have like no clue because all you have ever done is work with corpses, we have worked with cadavers, and you know, you have worked with the most patient and uh, civil uh human being till now but now you get to see the entire society how it functions there there'll be resident doctors who haven't slept for like 72 to 80 hours at their stretch they have no clue what is good they have not taken their bath they have not had their meal and then the professor comes storming and you're supposed to get oriented to all of that so yeah it's going to be fun <laughs> it is going to be exactly like this so what my uh, lecture for today wants to focus on is that there are many you know speculations going on about clinical rotations you have to you're supposed to go there for three hours at a stretch you have no clue what is going on so the question arises since you were supposed to be learning clinical subjects in your final year and you're supposed to be doing your internship duties is it really necessary to attend these in the second year when you have no clue what to do why not use that time to study for my exams um usmle next meet any any competitive exam per se and why not utilize uh, my time doing that rather than wasting my time of uh, in three hours in the clinical rotations, right? So uh, I'll be answering all those questions. We'll be doing an FAQ also. You guys feel free to ask me whenever you, whatever you wish to ask. And um, we'll go ahead with that, okay? So yeah, so these are some presumptions that I have heard or learned about clinical rotations uh, in my institute or nearby institutes. If you have this amazing uh, golden uh, institute, which uh, you know provide, uh, teaches you in your clinical rotations, dude, you are the luckiest person in the world. But not all institutes do that, especially government hospitals where there is a lot of workload and people just can't find time to teach you. That is that is all because there's so many patients storming. It. 